Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to a video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And in this, I want to answer the question, what weapon is right for you? For those of you guys that of course have your fixed main weapon, you've already jumped in and you're already running through and testing out those new things. But for any of you guys that maybe have taken a break, come back in light of the new expansion, and are wondering what you should be using, especially in light of the fact that Sunbreak introduces new Siltbind skills, new combos, new moves, new ways to use your weapons, you may still wonder what you should be using. So if you're asking that question, then this is your video. If you do enjoy this, you do find this helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions and let me know what weapon you'll be using in Sunbreak. First up, the Longsword. The Longsword is a weapon that has the power of God and anime on its side. It's elegant and perfectly balances both speed and power. Where some of the heavier hitting weapons typically lack mobility as a trade-off, the Longsword perfectly blends both, allowing you to remain mobile, counter incoming attacks and dish out great damage. Furthermore, with the introduction of yet more powerful skills in Sunbreak, this badass weapon has even more counter options and the ability to dish out devastating damage in a single slice, meaning Longsword becomes a viable wake up weapon too. So if you want to be the next Himura Kenshin and pull off badass anime slashes, then this is the weapon for you. Next up, the Heavy Bowgun, the most powerful ranged weapon which basically makes you a walking tank. This weapon has access to all ammo types depending on which weapon you craft, so you can choose Pierce, Spread, Status or Explosive types depending on the situation. And this weapon can even be loaded with special Wyvern Fire ammo, turning it into a turret for huge damage potential. Pick up this weapon if you want to deal massive damage from a distance. The Light Bowgun is very similar to the Heavy Bowgun, but has lower ammo type capacity and more mobility. It is able to leave behind deadly trap mines, as well as inflict statuses via many ammo type options. A new Siltbind attack in Sunbreak adds a minigun to the Light Bowgun, meaning you can run around like a mad lad, beaming things in the face. Pick up this weapon if you want a safer, more mobile ranged option. The Charge Blade, often referred to as the most technical weapon in Monster Hunter. The Charge Blade is both a sword and an axe. Once you've mastered the art of combining weapons into your playstyle, you'll be able to unleash devastating fire-powered attacks that'll leave any monster flinching. Charge Blade is typically a little harder to use than other weapons, with a slightly steeper learning curve at first, but in the right hands it can deal some incredibly flashy and massive damage. You can even become your own pizza cutter. So pick this weapon if you have a master's degree in mechanics. I am of course joking, pick this if you like cool weapons. The Hunting Horn is one of the most underrated weapons in Monster Hunter. The Hunting Horn is both an offensive, blunt force powerhouse and an amazing support weapon. The base game of Rise added an additional performance mode that made this much more beginner friendly, giving you easier access to some amazing support songs which can buff you and your team. Some of the songs can be incredibly powerful, such as providing healing, sharpness or stamina loss reduction, plus the introduction of some of the new Siltbind moves gives this even more tools to play with. Pick this weapon if you both want to hit hard and also back up your team. For those of you that like big chops and even bigger damage numbers, you have the Greatsword. This is the weapon for you. One of Monster Hunter's oldest weapons, it focuses on charging up and unleashing powerful attacks at the cost of mobility. In Sunbreak, however, it now benefits from a counterattack which adds to its growing list of defensive options and a new fast hitting combo, allowing for a new type of play. Because of the long charge times, players new to the weapon may have a hard time landing hits, but when you do learn the monster's timings, it will be worth it. So pick this if you like big damage numbers. Then the dual blades. If you have a need for speed, this is your weapon. Dual blades offer amazing mobility and incredible fast hitting attacks. This weapon is great for inflicting elemental or status damage, such as sleep or poison, so if you are exploiting a monster's weakness, the damage will be through the roof. Not only that, but for the anime fans, it also has the classic narrator run and the spine dash, which is similar to Levi from Attack on Titan. And the new Spiral Slash also allows you to become the drill that pierces the heavens. So, if you want to be anime, this is for you. Then we have the Bug Stick, the Insect Glaive. If you want to fly, this is your weapon. The Insect Glaive is the King of the Skies and comes in two parts. The main weapon is the Long Glaive that will do most of your damage and allow you to push yourself into the air. The other part is your small insect companion that can both deal damage and get buffs, which it extracts from the monsters. In Sunbreak, Insect Glaive has had some fantastic improvements, new powerful kinsects and even more powerful Silkbind attacks, so this is now even more potent than ever. So if you want to take the skies and take out monsters in style, this is your weapon. Hammer is a simple but powerful weapon, providing massive damage without restricting mobility. Its role is to bonk anything moving on the head, as the blunt force of the weapon will KO any monster, creating windows to exploit massive attacks for you and your team. The moveset is relatively simple, but mastering the weapon means you'll be a welcome addition to any team. 
This is the weapon to take on the hunt if you're looking to break parts or increase your chances of getting that rare drop that you need from horn breaks or other things like that. Next up we have the Lance. Using the Lance as a weapon means standing your ground in the face of overwhelming danger. Lance is a defensive king, you can block nearly any incoming attack using its sturdy shield, and using your counter attacks allows you to perform sharp combos between your defensive options. The Lance can feel clunky at first, but once you've mastered it, you'll be schmoving like a freight train and you will be unstoppable. Paired up with the fact that you have additional mobility options in Sunbreak, this is now a great chance to become that iron tank defense. Alternatively, you have the Gun Lance, the other steadfast iron defense of Monster Hunter. A sturdy lance affixed with a cannon, this weapon allows you to pressure your prey with a bevy of bombardments, then land a super powerful hit at just the right time. The perfect blend between both precision, piercing attacks, and Michael Bay style explosions. And those explosions got even bigger in Sunbreak with the introduction of Bullet Barrage, allowing you to unload absolutely everything you have in a huge damaging explosion. You then have the bow, a high mobility range option, but don't think that just because it has mobility, it sacrifices damage, as this thing packs a punch. Becoming a master of the bow means you will be managing your charge levels while dodging incoming attacks like Legolas, and doing so will give you a huge damage increase and create windows for maintaining damage. The bow is more about resource management than health, but if you're doing it correctly, you will be dealing massive damage while also being very stylish. This weapon is amazing at inflicting statuses such as sleep or paralysis, and is often the go-to for that reason. We then have the Sword and Shield, often recommended as the best starting weapon. The Sword and Shield gives you plenty of variety and plenty of different playstyles all in one weapon. It can inflict heavy raw damage with its more slow hitting attacks and the shield, you can exploit elemental weaknesses with its faster hitting sword combos, or play more defensive simply with the shield. Since the release of Rise with the new addition in Sunbreak, the Sword and Shield excels at using its shield to KO monsters, and with the addition of some of the new Siltbind moves, it is even more potent than ever. It's also the only weapon that allows you to use items with your weapon drawn, so this is a great all-round pick if you're new to the series. And then finally we have the Switch Axe. This is the transformer of Monster Hunter weapons. The Switch Axe is able to swap between its more heavy damage dealing sword mode and its more mobility fluid axe mode. Charging up this weapon through correct usage ensures it becomes a powerhouse at dealing elemental or status damage via its files, and in Sunbreak the addition of a brand new Siltbind counter has made Switch Axe even more potent, allowing you to quite simply stand in the face of danger. So if you like the idea of a Swiss Army knife transforming weapon, this is your pick. But for the time being, that's a quick rundown on the 14 weapons in Monster Hunter. If you guys are new, hopefully this has given you some guidance. Of course, by all means, keep it locked on the channel for plenty more. If you've missed some of our recent videos, you can check out one of these ones. And stay tuned, because we've got plenty of Sunbreak stuff coming your way.